Hello! We're back with part 3 of this fairy series. In the first two videos we made the base dress and the wings and corset and now it's time for the finishing touches. So now that the base dress is done, now that the corset is done and the wings are done, it's time to work on the other embellishments. In order to make her look a little bit more badass, what I want to do is either add some leather shoulder shoulder armor or like a leather I don't know I don't know what you would call it just like shoulder gear <laughs> yeah let's go with that so I have some leftover pieces of this same corset fabric so I'm going to just try some stuff and see if I want to do like just the actual shoulder pieces or like a strap and a shoulder piece or I don't know like some sort of just shoulder leather doublet shrug thing <laughs> can you tell I have no idea what I'm doing okay I've just draped some fabric as my initial plan so this is generally what I was thinking um, but then on this side it's only like the one shoulder that's covered and I might like that better so I might see about, see how it will look if I only have one side. I think I might like that better. A little bit of asymmetry going. Plus then it's easier because I don't have to sew as much of this horrible, horrible, sticky pleather stuff. Yeah, I think that might be what we'll go with. So I'm going to cut out those pieces now and make this thing. Okay, so I was in the process of making this thing, you know, um, but then it has occurred to me that this isn't going to work because I would have to like wear it underneath everything, just with the cape, like it's not going to, it's not going to work. So um, we're changing our minds here. And what I'm gonna do instead is just make shoulder arm, shoulder armor. That's really hard to say. Shoulder armor, shoulder armor. And then have it kind of like belt around, um, which that will be able to go through the gap in the cape and everything. So that is the new plan. So we'll save this for another project. Okay, so I just cut out some pieces really quickly. So I think I'm gonna do this like neck leather piece and then I just cut these out kind of roughly um, and put a little dart. I haven't sewed anything yet, just kind of seeing how it looks. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then the strap will go around and then back up. <laughs> okay, this is extremely awkward to walk around in. I'm so happy. I feel like like a flower, but like a flower that could stab you. It's a good feeling, weirdly. So I have a wig that I've ordered that hopefully is here pretty soon, um, but if not, I think I want to make a, a circlet still, so I might have to put on another wig and then make the circlet on top of that one and then hope that it's like relatively the same size. Um, wings are rustling. I was like, what's that noise? It's just my wings. Yeah, they're staying out pretty well right now in the in the corset and I didn't add any extra wires, so I think they're probably good. Um, it's occurred to me that I, where I live right now, we're in like a super hardcore lockdown, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get out and take nice photos by the time like May 1st is like everyone post your stuff on May 1st so that's kind of a bummer um, I might just have to do stuff like in the yard or something um, which is fine it's just like kind of a letdown um, well that's fine obviously this is more important than a fairy dress and I gotta have to hem this it's like I don't know if you've ever stepped on tool on a tile floor it's really slippery <laughs> Every time I put this on, it's like a danger to my health. I'm in the process of making a little circlet for myself for the fairy. So I made this one out of warbler scraps and I did film it, but I'm going to redo it because I think these strips are a little bit beefy. So I'm going to do it, do it over again and then 
Hopefully it'll be a little bit more dainty. So I will film it again so that I can actually show you what I did. So round two. This time I cut thin strips of warbler and heated them up and folded them in half lengthwise to make skinny kind of tubes kind of strips. I heated them up again and laid them into the shape of the design I had drawn out. The thinner strips were more fiddly to deal with, but I liked how it ended up looking in the end much better. I also trimmed the ends to a point once I had them in the shape I liked. To form it into a crown shape, I heated the pieces very lightly and curved them around a pot, then waited for it to cool in that shape, which is a technique I learned from Silhouette Cosplay and her Galadriel crown. My plan is to go out tomorrow and hopefully if everything is done to take photos of this finished dress, um, which is to say that I have a lot of finishing details to do before that. So what I've done is I tighten the straps up a little bit more so they sit, they want to stay up on my shoulders more than like falling off um, onto my arms. And I also stitched the chiffon down. It ended about here before and it kind of looked strange. So I've just sewn that to the end of the strap. So you can't see the straps anymore, which is nice. And for the chiffon layer, what I've done is I added a little button here. Oops. I added a little button on the chiffon and then I added a loop on the corset here. So basically, oh, this is hard to do with one hand, but I can just slip that button into the loop and then it makes this kind of, of course the skirt's not on right now so it'll like stand up a bit more, but it kind of makes this waterfall kind of droop shape. So I think that looks really cool. Oh, I've also, well I'm gonna, I was gonna say I hemmed the skirt, but it's tulle so I just chopped it off. So I don't have like a mannequin head to put this on, but basically this is one side of the crown. Um, so all I have to do now is kind of join these two ends. So since the last time I was working on this, um, it was just the black warbler. I didn't prime it or anything, I just finger painted it because I think the texture is actually pretty cool. It looks a little bit more natural. And then I just um, strung some beads. This is a little piece of chain and then I have these little pearls and then the gold seed beads. And I just put them on some fishing line and then tied the fishing line to the the warbler, the crown, so that, you know, when it's, this is the front, so it'll all kind of like drape um, along the side of my head. So we are in the crunch zone now, so my check-ins may be less frequent. I also received my wig. Um, it's beautiful, I love it, but it is straight, so I think I'm gonna curl it. Normally, I would, well, I guess I don't know what I would normally do. I don't style wigs very often. I think I'm going to curl it with just with a curling iron and then with wigs, you just have to let them cool and then the curls will set. So I think that's what I'm going to do for this one. I was actually able to safely get out and take some pictures. My partner takes my photos and we live together so we made sure we were safe and distanced. There's going to be a little worm thing in the middle of the shots. I didn't notice it until after, and I have no idea what it was. Thank you very much for watching these videos. I had so much fun with this project. Even though my design ended up changing along the way and not everything went the way I wanted it to, I'm really happy with the final look. 